So if you're looking for a cheap motion activated doorbell or motion alarm, this might be the thing you're looking for. So there's a lot of new doorbell and motion alarms and video recorder devices out there that, uh, you know, there's the Nest doorbell and uh, Amazon has the Blink alarm. But for 13 bucks, you can't beat this. It's from Harbor Freight. All it is is a sensor and a doorbell alarm. Two units, this and that. And I have it set up over here. And I actually painted it. I painted mine black and put it on a protective post so you can't really notice it. And it can pop off just like that. And I painted it black except for the sensor and the little light here. And I made this little protective case and stand. So it sits right there and you can't really tell what it is. You could always mount this on a tree or under a branch. This is 13 bucks from Harbor Freight. It's not 200. It doesn't record video, but it will send a signal. It says 400 feet and we found that we're about 100, 200 feet to our house and it's worked great. We set it right there 20 feet away as cars drive up or people walk up, the doorbell goes off and we know people are coming to our house. Now here's the stand and I painted it black and I painted the, the motion sensor part black and this part here is just a piece of metal. Uh, I think it's for 2x4 stud walls. I just put a little cut, bent it over it and now there's a roof on it and it's just a piece of 2x4 uh, I dug and put it in the ground. And it's not something you'll notice right away, so people won't notice it's a motion alarm. But just some black paint, or even you could use a black Sharpie, or you could mount it to a tree like that. One issue we have found is when sunlight kind of hits this, you could see the light goes off too, when it, and it detects any motion. But when there's sunlight or shadows, we're getting a few false positives, you know, false alarms. We think somebody's here, and we see it's just a branch or some sunlight hitting it. So you want to keep it away from any branches or keep it in the shade or all sunlight, one or the other. So you don't want it kind of with branches dangling in front of it. And again, our driveway is, you know, 20 feet from here and it's worked fine. We even had it further back at first and that worked fine too. So the, the pickup distance is fine and the distance to the house is working well too. Now this is actually where we keep the alarm part. We, we keep it with a line of sight. The only thing that's between the alarm and the sensor is this window. Before I had it downstairs and I had a wall in between it and another wall and it didn't really pick it up every time. You kind of have to at least have only one wall or a direct line of sight like a window. The best thing would be to keep it with a window in between. So I can see from right here, I can see that sensor that's sending the signal to this. It's maybe only 150 feet and we keep it right here with only the window blocking it and that seems to work the best. Before, if it's behind too many walls, it won't pick it up. Overall, for 13 bucks, you can't beat it compared to those $200 video ones on Amazon like the Nest or the Blink. 13 bucks, it works great. Uh, you know when people are coming to your house. So, let me know what you think. Thanks. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.